Hi, welcome all to my video class on intravenous fluid administration and drop factor calculation. Today we are going to discuss about intravenous fluid administration and specifically on the drop factor calculation. You have already seen the rights of medication administration as well as dose calculation. So we will have a discussion on the different types of fluids as well as its administration and the drop factor calculation today. So I have uploaded some uh, slides in the PPT. We can watch the PPT. Now we can see the intravenous solutions, equipment and calculations. The abbreviations commonly used for intravenous fluid administration. D stands for dextrose, W for water, S for saline, NS means normal saline, sodium chloride NaCl, RL ringer lactate. The, depending upon the hospitality, different solutions are also there like hypotonic solutions that is 0.45 saline, isotonic solution that means 0.9% saline and hypertonic solution that means 5% dextrose with the saline. Now the label comes like this with the 5% dextrose and 9% sodium chloride. Now when you are giving the solution, you can give by gravity. See here you can see the different ports uh, that shows this is a solution and here there is an injection port you can see easily and this is the drop chamber where the drops are going per minute we are adjusting and here is the roller clamp where the we are adjusting the rate. Now there is a, another method called IV with piggyback that means Currently one solution will be going on that you can see the solution is like this. It will be hanging as a solution for the patient as the fluid management. Then you have to add some medicine means that medicine you can give through a piggyback to the main solution. So this is called as the uh, piggyback solution. Now the next uh, if you are giving mechanically there is no need for the rate per hour. But uh, sorry, if you are giving mechanically through the machine, you have to adjust the rate with the hour. Or if you are giving manually, you have to adjust the rate with the drop factor. So ml per hour means what is the total ml divided by total hours. Example, if you are giving 500 ml for 5 hours per hour, 100 ml you have to adjust in the machine. Now we can do the calculation also, drop factor calculation. So example I will show in the board, we can move on to the board to see the example for drop factor calculation. Now we can see with the example for the rate calculation. So rate is equal to volume divided by time in minutes into the drop factor or calibration. So calibrations are two types. When it is a macro set or a micro set it is different. If it is the uh, micro set means small drops are coming. It is 1 ml is considered as 60 drops. Macro set means macro drops are going. So big drops that usually giving for adults and big children. So it is the 15. Now we can move on to one example. If IV fluid is giving 500 ml for 6 hours. How will you calculate the drop factor? 500 ml into 15 is the drop factor. And the time is 6 hours. We told 6 hours. So in minutes it is 6 into 60. Now if you want to get the rate you can do the calculation 15 you can cut so 500 divided by 24 it will come as 20.8 drops or 21 drops per minute so 20.8 drops means approximate whole number you can take as 21 drops so Using your watch, you can adjust the rate as 21 drops per minute. Now we will move on to another example. If the same amount of fluid is giving through the micro set where the 60 drops are there, you have to again do the calculation 500 ml. Now the drop factor is 60. See the time is again 6 into 60. Now you can cut off 60 and it is 500 divided by 6. So it will be the drops will be more. Now the drops are coming as if you are cutting 500 by 6 it is 83.3. Now you can give us 83 drops. So this is how you are calculating the drops per minute so that per hour the required amount is going to the patient. 
Now we can see another example as uh, usually in the ward you are giving medicines also as infusion. For example, injection ceftriaxone 1 gram to give us infusion. So we can give 1 gram of ceftriaxone for 1 hour. How will you give? 1 gram ceftriaxone means 10 ml. Because it is the diluent is coming in 10 ml, you have dissolved the medicine in 10 ml plus you are diluting into 100 ml of normal saline. So here the amount is 110 ml. Now the uh, order is it should be administered as infusion for 1 hour. 1 hour then time in minutes means 60. Now here the drop factor is 15. Now you can do the calculation. Again 15 cut with a 4. Now 110 ml divided by 4 it is equals to 27.5 drops. 27.5 drops is coming. That means 28 drops per minute if you are adjusting the patient will finish the medicine of 110 ml per hour. So these are the three methods or three types of calculation specifically you want for your practicals. Example if the amount of fluid is administering you can use both set system like micro and macro and do the calculation and adjust the drops 21 like this is the drops per minute here the 83 drops per minute here the 28 drops per minute so now hope you understood the calculations the drop factor calculation for intravenous fluid administration specifically for the medicine also so i want to uh, remind you always do the calculation properly with the amount and also with the system you are using either manual or mechanical and also the calibration or the IV fluid set how the calibration comes is it the macro drops or the micro drops so it will be helping you to calculate the dose specifically and to administer fluid proper dose per hour or per minute to the patient thank you